Hello guys, so we have an amazing time at the Hotel Gaia. Uh, it's an amazing place. Uh, it's very close from Uvida and very close to the other parks of uh, more south. So they were very nice. Actually, Jorleni, the manager, she was super nice with us. So the car is ready. We have everyone is in the car waiting for me. So I think it's gonna be two hours to Puerto Jimenez. And after that, we're gonna drive to Karate. Hopefully the rivers are not that high because I remember three years ago when I came for the first time. It was terrible, we got stuck over there and you know, it was very bad. But you know, we're gonna test Turbo to see if Turbo can bring us over there. Hopefully we can. So we're gonna get into the beach. After the beach, we're gonna walk like uh, three kilometers. Because that's the only way to get to the camps that we're going tonight. So yeah, let's hit the road now. So this is the lineup for this trip. Samantha is taking the back seat because Jose <laughs> is kind of a big guy. <laughs> so but are you comfy over there? Yeah, there's lots of space. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so it's over ready and that's my spot. This is my pillow. I'm using this pillow because there is a hole on the bag. Alright guys, so we made it to Puerto Jimenez and we did a technical stop on one of the bakeries. How's your enchilada, babe? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> so, Jose is talking to the lodge owners, I think, because we are still not on the lodge. We need to drive maybe like 50 more kilometers in an off-road road, so it's gravel, holes, bumpy. bumpy. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a fun drive. So, and we mm -hmm. have to walk like 40 minutes on the beach. That's the best part, and we have to walk. Hopefully, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't start raining. <laughs> so, this is the peninsula de Osa. This is on the south of Costa Rica. So, this is Puerto Jimenez. This is like, you know, the developed town in this area. They have the airport, hospitals, I mean, pretty much everything you need. And the Corcovado National Park is huge. It's pretty much all, all this area right here. So, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna drive all over this side. We're gonna be boarding the south of the country. And then we're gonna park here. This is Karate. And then we have to walk all the way here where the lodge is. Guys, this is how the road is gonna be for the next almost 50 kilometers. Let's say about 30 miles. So she said, the owner of the property, of the manager, she said that <laughs> this was the nice part of the road, so I can wait to see the bad part of the road. Well, there are so many birds here that they are just like hanging around. <laughs> you know, birds that bird watchers usually you know take some hours to find you can find them on the road here Right. So this is part of the off-road thing. Sometimes <laughs> there's no bridges on Costa Rican roads, so you have to make them. Like in this case. Ooh, oh my God. See? All good. We made it to Karate. Uh, this is where the La the Leona station is, and now we're gonna walk on the beach. I think for like 30 minutes, it's four kilometers to the lot. That's all our stuff right there.
We've been walking for at least 30 minutes and still no signs of the lodge. And Samantha is in the back. She always stays in the back taking her pictures and photographing my couch today. So we are finally at La Leona Lodge and this tent right here is going to be our room for the next two days and it's very very cool. I'm going to show you guys a little quick. So we are pretty much in front of the ocean. The ocean is right there. Then well we have this porch with two chairs. Then we got our bed here. See, and this is the bathroom here, or the toilet, this is the sink. And take a look at this. This is the, we got a coconut for our water, for our shower. That's good, that's awesome. I think that for tonight, we're gonna do some, we're gonna try to find some frogs, some little frogs. And then we're gonna do maybe to get some turtles, right? That's what the guy said. Yeah, yeah we might see some turtles. Yeah, I said it was a good time. They, they have seen some. They already saw some turtles over there, so that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do later. Well, hopefully, that's what we're gonna do. Hey, babe. So, what do you think so far about this place? It's very cool. I don't think we've been somewhere that's been so off the grid. Maybe only one other place on the other side of Osa. How would you describe it? Hmm. Jungle. <laughs> Deep in the jungle, beach, remote, definitely remote. Maybe not that remote. Well, yeah, pretty remote. <laughs> yeah, so this is Jim. He's gonna be Hi. our guide for yes. tonight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so. Uh... All right, guys. So we are in the middle to start our tour. So, by what are we looking for right now? We are gonna go look for frogs. Um, he said. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, we're gonna first look for some tree frogs and glass frogs by the river um, and then like some snakes later on so it should be good I think he uh, really knows what he's doing <laughs> so yeah. I'm sure we'll find some it's good <laughs> oh, yes. the cane cane uh, so this is a species which is uh, really poisonous so um, <laughs> oh. right here behind of the ear this is a male so the male usually are it's, it's greenish. Um, this is a snake. In English, it's called the razor snake. Razor. Razor. Oh, racer. 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 Yeah. Because it's really fast. We are going up this river. And as you guys can see, we are literally in the middle of the jungle. So here, on this side of the river, on the left side, this is the National Park, Corcovado. And right here on the right side, this is a private reserve. And the river is the line. The device. We're back in our tent and yeah, that, that tour was awesome. We saw a lot of reptiles, uh, different kind of animals at night. It's just amazing to see how, how live the jungle is at night. So it's around 9.40, 9.45. We're gonna go to bed now because tomorrow we have to be up by five. They're gonna take us to uh, I don't know, they have a new platform here that they, uh, they want us to check it out. And, and yeah, so it was an awesome day. We're super tired, but super happy to be here. And tomorrow the adventure will continue. So you guys, thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.